NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Now I am going to explain about basic electricity. What is current? What is voltage? Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's current law, with a small analogous. First thing, what is current? We know that all the materials internally have electrons, semiconductor, insulators, and cators. For the insulators, the bonding between the electrons is very high, so it will not easily escape. For the cutters, bonding strength between the electron is very less, so it will easily escape. Movement of electron is current. Charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs. The current is defined as the movement of charged particle per second is current. I is equal to Q by T. Q is charge, T is equal to time in seconds. For example, if 10 number of electrons moves for 2 seconds, then what will be the current value? I is equal to Q. Q here number of electron is 10. So charge for each electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. So total charge is 10 into 10, 10 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 time 2 seconds. So T is equal to 2 seconds. That much of current will flows. Voltage. How the electron will move? For example, let's take a tank, water tank system. If the pipeline is provided, whether the water will move, water does not move, water particle does not move. Because the pressure at the both the terminals are same, P1, P1, so the water particle does not move. If the pipeline is inclined, here the pressure is P2 and pressure is P1, the water will move flow from higher pressure to low pressure side. So for water particle movement, some pressure difference is needed. Similarly, for electron movement, some pressure difference is needed. That pressure difference is called as voltage. Ohm's law. Let's take a system. This is a tank, this is a pipeline. If the pipe is fully closed, the resistive, fully resistive, maximum resistive, whether the water molecule will class will move. No, there is no water molecule will not will move. Because the resistance of resistance is high, very high. If the resistance is very high, there is no water movement, water molecule movement. Similarly, in electric circuits, if the resistive is, resistance is high, there is no current flow. If it is open, what will happen? Water molecule will easily moves. Similarly, if the in a circuits, the resistance is zero, the current flow will be maximum. So, I and R is inversely proportional. If the resistance is high, there is no water, there is no water molecule movement. There is no current flow. If the resistance is less, maximum current flow. Okay. This is the relation between current and resistance. Similarly, if the pressure in the tank is high, what will happen? The current flow will the water particle movement will be high. If the pressure difference is pressure is less, the water molecule movement will be less. Similarly, in a circuits, if pressure is if voltage is high, the current will current flow will be high. If voltage will be less, the, the current flow will be less. So voltage and current is linearly linearly proportional. Okay. Totally I is equal to P by R. This is the Ohm's law at constant temperature. This is current law. Let us take another one example. This is a tank one tanks two. Let us take the current flow in the tank one is two liter per second. In the tank two is one liter per second. Okay. What will be the outgoing water? The water flow will be a 3 liter per second. Why? The sum of incoming water is equal to sum of outgoing water. Similarly, in a circuits at a node, sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current. This is the current law. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification. Like, comment and share. See you next time.